Hello there, this is Helen. A lot of you I know follow my Facebook page, Helen M. Stevens True Embroideries, and some of you may be enjoying my new series of e-patterns produced with Vive Books. I'm going to show you how to work a technique now called laddering. It's also called needle weaving, and it's going to create this effect, a checkerboard effect, on, in this case, a fritillary lily. Now, if you're used to my type of embroidery, you'll know how to have worked this underlying stitching here. The medieval people called that opus plumarium, simply feather work, because it looks like the sweep of feathers on a bird's body. So to prepare for this type of work, we need to work that underlying embroidery first. And then, in a contrasting shade, you're going to bring your needle up through your fabric, and we're working on a lovely black matte cotton here, and you're going to begin to weave your way across the design. Now you want to pick up and leave down about two or three stitches at a time. Simply use your needle like a shuttlecock, pull him through, and you'll find that you have the beginning of your needle weaving pattern. Pop your needle down through your fabric. Don't pull it too tight. You don't want to distort the underlying stitches. And then you're going to come out again on the same side that you began. Now this is where the cunning stuff starts. This time you're going to put your needle across, pretending it's your little shuttlecock picking up and lying down the opposite few strands of silk over and under, over and under. You might need to take a couple of stabs sometimes to make sure you're picking up the right bits over and under until you're ready to pull him through again. Back down through your fabric, out to the same side again, and another repeat of the process. Sometimes it's quite tricky to actually see at this stage which of those threads are laid down and picked up, but as you work your way through, you'll find that they are gradually easier to pick up. You're going to carry on with that until you get to the top of the petal. In this case you're going to come up to the top here, then you're going to go back to your middle point and work down to the tip, just as I've done on this side. So we'll just watch that once more and then in a moment I'll show you how this effect can be worked on something slightly different. You don't have to agonise too much about whether you might leave a fibre or two down where you picked it up last time or vice versa because obviously in nature nothing is absolutely perfect. If it looked perfect it wouldn't look natural. So there's the beginning of our petal on the fritillary lily and if we want to see that technique used on a larger area here's a design showing a cornucopia of lovely goodies and the gold of the horn here is worked in that laddering effect. So you can work it to cover large or small areas. Just remember that if you want to get a greater contrast of shades, you need to use a greater contrast in the colour of the silk, and then your checkerboard effect will be more pronounced. This video is one of a series that I'm producing to explain various new techniques which are all part of my new series of e-patterns which I'm producing with Vive Books. If you haven't enjoyed my um, book One Simple Stitch, my e-book One Simple Stitch yet, then do um, go and get that one because it's got lots of other techniques. I hope you'll join me again for another video soon. Bye!